Hello YouTube, this is Brian Berizel805 with a quick review of the Aircraft Super Robot uh, 99 cent store uh, robot or jet review. So, I tried so hard to make the legs look like the legs right there and it doesn't do that without causing a lot of traction and ifs and uh, might break something and the head actually pops out too so I'll show you that and this guy I believe let's see So the arms move. I don't know why there's a piece like that. Nothing really fits into them. But if you look right there, he doesn't peg in, but everything kind of load lands up. So that's kind of I think how he's supposed to be. So. so. And these just peg into a little spot right here. So, to get him into robot mode, I think you've seen, if you saw my last video, you saw him in robot mode and set the package. Like I said, I still want to see this guy. And this guy was here, but I didn't care about him. And this guy, I don't care about at all too much, but I was interested in this guy and what it, what it does. For $3, hey, what the hey. So, you pop these off, and there's going to hold... Right there. Come on. And they just go actually over that. Okay. Then I'm going to lay it down and try and get it in view. Okay. So here's the bottom. It's all robot body right there. So first thing you do, pull it up. Okay. Then you take these. These are some heel spurs or something. Um, these are the feet, and basically I use a gun to get all the feet out. And they're not much of an improvement, to tell you the truth. The whole arm section, if you miss that, sorry. Just goes like that. See? Oh, the hard, uh, scary part is right here. I don't know how it came out. It's all pegged in and pushed in, so. It's very scary. They're gonna break one these days. Or next time I do that. I mean, that's how it goes. In the jet mode, it goes like this. this. Sorry, this. That makes a little more sense. In robot mode, it comes out. So the stickers are on the wrong side. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. So you just take this, fold it. And you fold these up so it looks like this now. 
me fold the arms. And here's kind of the cool part. You kind of spin this around. The head pops out. And here you have um I'm gonna call him Backpack Man. I don't know. No. I'll show you uh so his arms do you do transformation does that it rotates and so it's kinda of strong still. And give each arm of his guns, dual piston, dual welding pistols. Like so. I think that's what it is. He kind of reminds me of, because of colors, like Cyclonus or something. I don't know. Or, what's this, what I think I learned to do, because he doesn't fit anywhere. So you give him a double laster. Take his arms. And place them over his hand fist thing. Backpack doesn't stay together. There's nothing to do that, but kind of clip it on over his hand. Now it kind of looks like a gun, so I'm gonna go with that. So he's a act. He's like a power master, target master. So so overall, fun, cheap toy for three dollars. The only thing I fear about is. The tabs on the front of part of the jet. There's no paint apps, but with the right markers, you could make it look cool. I'm thinking I might actually do that. So, cool. Thank you guys for watching. You can find these guys probably at the Diner Cent stores or cheap stores around your house. I mean, it's $2.99 plus tax, and I got it for a great deal less than that. So, I basically got him for free. So that's not a bad deal. And he's a lighter purple than what you're looking at. So. Anyways, like I said, if I get a hold of Space Shuttle uh, Voltron here, I'll definitely do a review of him. So, thanks a lot. See you guys later.